If you're looking for something original and refreshing with some smart engineering in your 118 scale collection, then this may be for you. That is, if you're willing to pay the price. Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags, today we're having a look at this Rakshasa Cyan Red. Now I had done an unboxing and first impressions. I do have two of these, as there are two figures basically, uh, one on each side. Um, and first impressions video is on the channel. I have that linked in the description. So you can have a look at that and the unboxing of course. I also got in today Anubis to go with them which I'll do a separate video of. But today it's about Rakshasa. Doing a bit of research, Rakshasa seems to be an amalgamation of several ideas from Asian gods and deities. This science side we'll have a look at first. With that sort of cyan color and pink and gold. Really awesome look multi-limbed do like uh, everything here is presented the legs and all these different colors really makes this stand out and on the other side you'll see uh, weapons are stowed away here Plug them back in here, if not in use. Simply twisting the body at the waist will give you red. Let's turn things around. The arms here. Although similar, there are distinct design differences. As for articulation, there is movement on a ball joint at the head and at the lower part of the neck which is going to be very important for movement and to be able to make the look on either side you can go down all the way like that go back like that as well look at that ball joint the arms here are where it's uh, very smart engineering we have a ball joint on a hinge raises the arm like that but that ball joint which can move in of itself is also on a ball that can rotate there's a hinge here for the pauldron as well which is a soft plastic this thing that works uh, really nicely first impressions you'll think it's quite fragile but actually the way it's done with the soft plastic is done very well, twist at bicep with a nice bend at the elbow. I've currently got claw hands equipped on each arm. You also get four gripping hands which are attached via the thumb and index finger to hold the weapons. The hand goes all the way around and can go down. Movement on the upper torso goes up and down with a bit of gapage on this side. On the other side though, you won't get that gapage. There's a really good movement for the waist though. So working together you can get some really good angles and different kinds of movement. Jean-Claude, a bit hindered there by design. Rakshas, ah. Twist that thigh. You can go up there. Back, not so much. Double bend at the knee. If you can get it there. Oh, this thigh is uh, from Yamato, I believe. No boot twists. There's up, down, and pivot. Red side of the head, you'll find additional articulation with the mouth. So just take these two teeth here from the fangs and you can bring down the mouth like that this is the uh the action side i would imagine it's angry it's shouting or something or yeah doing a roar or whatever 
close up very nicely and it stays there. So the way the arms are engineered where they fall slightly forward on each side and I've got that additional articulation via the ball um, and the other additional uh, larger ball means that this is I think the only figure that I know of that you can get to cross cross its arms I mean that's you know bad way of doing but if you spend a bit more time you can really get him to look like he's crossing his arms in a in a realistic way more so than any other figure in any scale that I've been able to manipulate personally uh, this course is not the best but you get the idea but it's so much fun being able to uh, move these additional arms in different ways Let's get it on the hips here it just adds another dimension to your posing especially with uh, the different looks each side has look at that look on the other side though not so flattering on this side or the other guy can't stress enough how much these additional arms adds another layer of of posing to uh, this figure something that you don't really uh, realize until you have it in hand as the way they work is not sort of conventional as a uh, you'd think we already know that Toys Alliance can make great action figures but when they take a risk like this and make something so unique it really warms my heart this is the kind of thing that I love to experience in action figure collecting when something like this works and it's just so fun and it's just there's just nothing like this out there at the moment and I hope that they push the envelope more by bringing new figures like this. Rakshasa also comes with four weapons they can hold in each arm. There's this one here in a kind of green and this one and he's got two in sort of yellow goldish colors here. And as you saw earlier, they're stored in the back here. They've each got a little tab there. So I've got two of these, and I noticed that there's a difference in the neck here. This one is a bit shorter than the other one. So that. See, besides the color, the left one's a bit longer. Articulation's a bit different as well. This can has a wider range of movement whereas this one doesn't move as much the right one the left one can move quite a bit don't know why that is with weapons equipped like Shasa looks especially dangerous all those limbs hanging off and all those weapons equipped and I love that each side brings its own sort of feel and look. Brilliant, brilliant figure. So Rexasha is larger than your standard sort of 118 scale action figures. The standard uh, more recently has been about four inches, which you see most of these figures stand at except for uh, the Warhammer figure there and Mason which are a bit larger so you can see uh, Rex Sasha both of them or both sides are larger than uh, these guys so the one negative I would say about this figure is the price on Peer Club is just over $50 which is 
asking quite a bit for a figure in 118 scale. Now, it's really going to be up to you whether or not you feel that's worth it. For me, obviously I've got two of them, um, but I still think that is way too expensive for this figure. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you buying this? Do you want to get it? Do you think it's too expensive? If you like this video, click the thumbs up for more content. Subscribe and I'll scale you later.